Fisher projections were originally devised as an easy to draw structure to represent the configuration of multiple stereocenters in monosaccharides. To extract the stereochemical information, one needs to view one carbon at a time. The Fisher projection doesn't depict the actual three-dimensional structure of the molecule because it is not possible to flatten a bonded set of tetrahedral atoms. An alternative method for converting the Fisher projection to a skeletal or line structure begins by lining up a zigzag structure with the Fisher projection. Then, view each carbon individually with its vertical bonds pointing away when building the horizontal bonds. You will need to keep turning the molecule over to keep the vertical bonds of the carbon being built away from you. To go from a zigzag line structure to a Fisher projection, it will be necessary to rotate bonds because not all horizontal bonds are pointing towards you. Then, draw a flattened Fisher projection. 